Just a minute, uh, Julie. There's the or orange uh, shirt at the very top. No? Oh, I thought you wanted to speak. Yuri wants to speak uh, here in the front. There were so many things said, and uh, I hope I will uh, manage to, to bring some uh, useful thoughts uh, together. Um, about this dialogue between artists and scientists, I think that um, there is a, a trap inside uh, this um, uh, um, uh, title, because um, it implies that um, um, artists and scientists are something what cannot be understood together. What is wrong? Because I'm sure that scientists can explain us several cases how they do not understand among each other, among scientists themselves. I was once present um, at the symposium of collaboration in space art in uh, Paris when uh, Roger Molina was um, explaining um, uh, how their group of scientists and technologists was working, were working together on a, um, a kind of radio telescope. And he was explaining um, um, how long it took that scientists from the same institute went together to understand what the astronomers want and what the technologists uh, know uh, and how to fulfill um, the task. And it was, I think, 18 years that they need to make these satellites uh, going in, in, in the space. So, um, I think that uh, he made a perfect uh, case of um, how this understanding uh, among scientists and artists are not lying in their position, but in their um, uh, cognitive skills. And uh, coming to that uh, topic, um, I think that we are uh, many times uh, frustrated because uh, we who are interested into investigative arts believe that scientists who are also investigating and who are curious on the same uh, way as we are should understand us. <laughs> but of course we are using different languages and this is um, one ways of, of thinking one of the problem. It's about uh, symbolization, it's about uh, symbolic. Mm. Then, um, one thing what I uh, strongly believe that uh, we should say is the difference between moral and ethics. It is a big difference. So, mm, when we are following the scientists working, we are so envy to them because they are working with real stuff, with real material, which became, uh, which come in life or sometimes even not. But they are, uh, they are entitled to be curious even by the price of something which is completely unusable. And this usability, speaking about the capitalistic environment and uh, the uh, sterility of it um, is uh, something we have to have in, in, in mind. Now, um, working with real stuff is something what the artists would like to do as well, because this allow, allowed us that we intervene into real life. Many artists I'm working with do not want to be simply entertainers. They do not want to have a role of a buffon, of somebody uh, who is entertaining uh, the lords at, at their court. You know? We just don't want to be clowns. We don't want to entertain uh, tired masses. You know? We would like to open um, different perspectives, a new way of thinking, new way of participating. And here is when I'm coming 
to this participatory level, which is something what I think we have to add to cognitive sphere. This explicit presence of a body, of a human, um, as a physical entity. Mm. <laughs> now it's, I just don't want to preach uh, uh, <laughs> here, but um, um, the ethics are implying to us that we do not pose the moral stances, that we not say this is good, this is bad, we should go this way, we should please, we should not, and so, and, and so on. So, um, um, this is what, um, what um, um, asks us to adopt um, an instruments for thinking that kind of uh, art expression. And um, I still uh, believe, and I'm experiencing uh, all the time this, that uh, um, a lot of activities, uh, value system itself, it's put in this, uh, it's, it's deriving from this rationalistic understanding of, of life. It's very Cartesian, it's very uh, Euclidic, it's um, one way, it has its source and so on. It's very difficult to, to explain uh, people that there is not just a perspective we need to know when we are looking uh, uh, an art piece, but there is something, for example, as a scopic field, which is very well elaborated, and we would need to know how to deal uh, with it, and so on and so on. Well, my background is, uh, at least when I'm speaking about thoughts, it's Lacanian psychoanalysis and um, uh, intersection with, with philosophy. And um, when I'm listening at, uh, at the explanation of arts, I'm always uh, afraid when somebody is starting to speak about the peace, about the unity, about the whole, you know, the, the, the work as a, as a finished one, and so on. So, um, there are many tools inside uh, uh, this uh, thinking which allowed us to accept uh, art production uh, as a process. Why we don't mind when scientists are in the process? When are, they are constantly investigating, investigating again and again from different perspectives and so on. And I would say, if I'm going to science museum and I don't understand what there is uh, said, it's a bad setup. And I think that when scientists are coming to a museum where they are seeing uh, uh, that kind of art, it's a bad setup. It's our responsible, uh, responsibility as the curators, or as those who are designing the, the exhibitions, to set the exhibition that we, in a way, that we are able to communicate what is our interest, what is the meaning, what is the scope, what is the uh, direction, what is the trace we are, uh, we are um, having, and so on. Well. Thank you, Yuri. I don't think we have time for any more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's lunchtime. My tummy is rumbling. Um, I just wanted to thank you all. I, I felt it was really successful uh, discussion. Uh, I hope everybody got something from it. Um, I think I'm, I'm positive about interactions between scientists and artists, as you all, well, most of you know. I have been very successful at this. There is, um, we need time, both artists and scientists, when they're working together to find a, a common language and a common understanding. I think time is a very key issue with these kinds of projects and works. But also, we don't, I think we, we keep trying to get a common ground, a common objective, and that's a wrong way of looking at it. We have different objectives, and we don't have to have the same objective to be able to work together in one project. Scientists have figured that out very well. They work together, and they have different objectives.
and they respect their different objectives. Um, so as an idea for a solution, maybe. Thank you very much. I hope I'll see you all this afternoon. Thank you.